السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي يجيبني حين أناديه ويستر علي كل عورة وأنا أعصيه ويعظم النعمة علي فلا أجازيه نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له إلها واحدا أحدا فردا صمدا قيوما نؤمن له بالربوبية ونقر له بالعبودية من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين والأوصياء والصديقين وعترة نبيك الطيبين الطاهرين عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن إن بعض الظن إث إن بعض الظن إثم ولا تجسسوا ولا يختب بعضكم بعضا صدق الله العلي العظيم الله The main reason for our fast during this month is to develop the ability to control our desires. Fasting is not intended to deprive us from food or a drink. Fasting was prescribed upon us. You may reach piety and righteousness and self-control. The main goal of fasting is moral, spiritual, and ethical refinement and purity. To develop ourselves, this is the month where we develop our characters. And therefore, there are certain instructions in our book Chapter 49, Hujurat, Chambers, probably is one of the most beautiful chapters in the Quran that brings people together and maintains the social relationship, maintains the relationship between the community. In the first part of it, God says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, ijtanibu kathiran min al-dhan. Shun much of conjecture. Shun and avoid much of bad suspicion. Do not suspect about each other. One of the dangerous diseases that one can get is to have always, is to have su'udhan, bad thinking about others always suspecting about others, always perceiving others to be enemies, to be dangerous, to be evil, to be bad. They want to hurt him, they want to harm him. This is not good. This is not healthy at all. This is self-destructive. When I leave my house and I look left and right, I look at any uh, people as being my enemies. They hate me, they don't like me. They have something against me. They might hurt me. I am hurting myself. Even if people don't look at me and they don't touch me, I am hurting myself. This is self-destructive. Su'udhan. To always think badly about others. Think that others have something against you. We have to give the people the benefit of the doubt. 
This is exactly what God says. Give them the benefit of the doubt. When they don't contact you, or sometimes you greet them, they don't greet you. Say, maybe he didn't hear me. Say, maybe his thinking was somewhere else. He was, not, he was looking at me, but he was not listening to me. Try to bring excuses for the, for the people. Don't accuse them immediately. Don't point your finger at people. Don't do that. The hadith says, <clears throat> Be careful of being always suspicious and having bad ideas about people around you. The biggest lie is this. The worst type of lie is when you suspect about people. Give them the benefit of the doubt. لا إيمان مع سوء الظن. There is no faith. No faith does exist when you suspect. With suspicion, there is no faith. If you keep suspecting about people, then you have you lose your faith. We maintain faith when we have good ideas about people. When we think good of them. When we always say, he has good intention. Maybe he didn't do good. Maybe he did not express himself well. Maybe he didn't know what to say. But he has good intention. That is what, is what keeps the community healthy and strong and together. Nothing more important in Islam, my friends, my brothers and sisters, nothing more important in our religion than the social harmony and social togetherness. God loves those, adores those who struggle for his cause in his way. Safan, they are one line, they are together. They are with each other, they support each other, they help each other, they defend each other. Safan ka'annahum bunyanun marsus. This is one of the goals of the month of Ramadan. To keep this community, keep your family, and the community is the extended family. We have the smaller family, which is at your home, living with you, sharing the house with you. And you have the extended family, which is this. Maybe you don't know their names, you don't speak their language, but they are your family, extended family. This is the month of social Coherence and social togetherness and social harmony. We stand with each other. They say one day three people were walking together. So they saw a man digging a hole. One of them immediately, he said, maybe he's a murderer and he tries to hide his crime. He's trying to to, to bury the victim in this hole. Immediately. He judged him. Immediately. The second one said, no, 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 take it easy. Why do you say he's a murderer? Say he's a thief, you know, and he has a stole something, jewelry, money, and he's trying to hide it in this, in this hole. The third one said, no, both of you are wrong. I think he's a noble man, benevolent man. He's trying to dig a well here for the people to drink water. Each one represents his own thinking. When we judge others, we are representing what is here. If what is here is healthy and safe and good, then it is going to be reflected on your tongue, on your deeds, on your thinking. You're going to think good about people. But if this is sick here, this one, the heart is sick, then we're going to judge people in a negative way. We Muslims in America, we are victims of stereotyping, negative stereotyping. We are the victims of discrimination. We are the victims of general, generalization. So we should not repeat the same mistake. We should stand with each other and give each other the benefit of the doubt. The hadith says, رُوِيَ أَنَّهُ قَالْ مَا تَمَّ عَقْلُ 
the brain, the reason, the aql of a person cannot be integrated, cannot be completed unless حتى يكون فيه خصال شتى until that person enjoys several characters. One of these characters, الشر الكفر والشر منه مأمونان. That person is safe from two things. One is disbelief, kufr. The second is shar, evil. He's not a disbeliever, neither a person of evil. He's away from evil. Ma'moon, you feel safe. You live with that person. You partner with that person in a business. You work with that person, you feel safe. You feel absolutely safe. That is the best person. That is the best friend. That is the best brother or sister. On the other hand, you expect him, Rushd, maturity, he's mature. In what he does, in what he says, in the decisions he makes, he's mature. Rushd, well, khair. Always you expect goodness from that person. Always you expect goodness because he is a person of goodness. People anticipate when that person comes, he brings goodness with him to his family, to his community, to his country, to his society. These are the qualities of the true believer. This is the month of Ramadan is all about. Believe me, it's not, a, not about depriving ourselves from drink or food. Many people can do that, can go for 20 hours with no food, with no drink. But what is important in this month is to learn good qualities, is to be able to be of service and help and goodness to people around us, is to remove the misery, the pain, the suffering from people around us. That is the message of the month of Ramadan. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu ujtanibu kathiran min al-dhan in the the hadith says one of the hadith says sometimes someone steals money from someone else someone steals money from someone else then the thief that the victim is going to be a bigger sinner more sinner than the thief himself how he's a victim he should not be a sinner you know how because he starts suspecting about people around him. Oh, maybe this one who stole my money. Maybe my son, maybe my wife, maybe my friend. So he blames, puts the blames on 500 people. So he becomes more sinning than the thief who committed, because the thief committed one crime. This man who's suspecting about the community, he is going to commit many more crimes. So he is going to have more sins than the thief who committed one sin. A lesson we learn. Try to have husn of Have good faith in people around you. Always teach yourself that people are good, people are pure, people are nice. Imam Amir al muminin says, those who judge people, you know why they judge them badly? Because they are bad themselves. Because they are bad, they think all the community are bad. That is the hadith of Amir al-Mu'mineen. Al-Shirreer la yadhunnu bi ahadin khayra. Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salatu wasalam says the Shirreer, the evil, he never think good about anyone in the community. Why? لِأَنَّهُ لَا يَرَاهُ إِلَّا بِطَبْعِ نَفْسِهِ Because he looks at people and judge them, judges them from his own window. Because he's bad, he thinks all people are bad around him. Whereas the person who is good, he always thinks good. Unless otherwise, unless you have a solid evidence that this person is a sinner, for instance, or he did something bad. Otherwise, always try to be kind in your thoughts, in your mind, to be kind and accommodating to people around you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين. الله.